Hello, I hope everyone is safe and well. This is just a quick share of the bits that I'm sending out for the isolation craft swap. This one is again hosted by the lovely Paper Milkshake. So thank you so much for having me. Make sure to check out all of the incredibly talented ladies that I will list down below for you. They will all be sharing what they sent out and what they received. Um, I'm really excited to see what my recipient makes with the kit that I'm sending her. So I figured I would show you the kit today. This will obviously go up after the unboxing because I don't want to spoil any surprises, but I will make sure to link the unboxing of this at the top and then I will link all of the other ladies. So I wasn't entirely sure what to make for this and then I was making the 3D hot air balloon and I just thought, perfect. I know not everybody has a die cutting machine or like an electronic one, so I figured it would be a great thing to send out then I had to find a way to package it. <laughs> so this is what I came up with. I know that my swap partner loves pink and holographic, so the whole aesthetic of this is very pink and sparkly. I will grab out this one. Oh, it's got caught. Obviously, I'll be decorating the inside of the box, tissue paper and all that sort of stuff, but I want to show you the goodies first. So to package the 3D hot air balloon, my plat well the pieces to make it anyway, I wanted to make one of these clear shaker pouches, I don't want everything to move too much. Um, you can see the little sequin mix I've got in there, all pink and girly. This is using a very, very similar technique to the tutorial that I've got, I will make sure to link that for you. If you'd like to see a tutorial making these bigger, longer ones, let me know, I'd be happy to film one. I needed a way to decorate the pouch and I thought a little trim tassel would be perfect because she can also use all of the trim. So I've got all different ones here, pom-pom trim, sequins, I've got some iridescent white sequins, this handmade one, all different. And then they're just clipped on with this little sparkly peg. I won't take them off because they are just clipped there and <laughs> I really don't want to have to rearrange them all. So you can see more of the little sequin mix in this clear pouch needs shaking up really. And then in here you can see all of the pieces to make the 3D hot air balloon. These are Chamel papers I believe and they're just the colours that my recipient stated that she liked so I went for those. I have also pre-stitched all of the panels for the hot air balloon. I know not everybody has a sewing machine so I thought that would be a nice touch. I have done all the stitching in silver because I thought it matched the project perfectly. Hopefully that is showing you all of the panels, obviously all of the extra pieces are in here. And there's all of her panels and bits for the hot air balloon. Then I couldn't leave it at just that, so I made a little embellishment box of goodies to decorate. She could use these for the hot air balloon, but she could also use them in loads of other projects. So I went for the same sort of colours that I've gone for in the box. Some flowers, some gems, flatback rhinestones, even more flowers, pearls and these little iridescent sequins and finally I sort of half decorated this one um, I didn't want to send it completely plain so I thought I'd do the background to match the inside of the box and then she can decorate this however she wishes but in here is just a little kit to make some of the beaded tassels I've also got a tutorial for those on my channel if you're interested in how to make them one thing I will mention really quickly I used the Barely Arts glue to stick this paper onto the plastic and you cannot see it at all, it is completely invisible and it's stuck really well so it is a great idea to use on projects that you can see from the other side. Everything in here can be used to make one of the little beaded tassels, all little extra bits, some of these flowers, all of the findings she'll need, some little beaded clasps if she prefers those, so all sorts of goodies in there as well and as a bonus project she can decorate this as well if she wishes. And of course I've added in some other little goodies, so I'll show you just a few. I've got these neon pink enamel dots, these pearlescent ones, and these, turn them up the right way, sparkly words. I will be adding a few other bits and pieces, but those are the ones in the box at the moment. So I figured I'd share those with you while I was showing you the rest of the goodies. Like I said, she will have a full unboxing on her channel, so do head over and check that out. I hope you've enjoyed a quick look at this isolation craft kit. Um, it's all very girly and I absolutely love the aesthetic of this one, so hopefully she does too. 
I'm so so excited to see what she creates with all of these goodies. I hope you have enjoyed a quick look at this craft kit and it's given you some inspiration to send some happy mail of your own. This is a great way to send some flatter mail if you want to, um, because obviously the balloon made up would have been massive to send, but you could definitely send some on the pieces and it would be loads of fun for them to put it together, something for them to do while we're all on lockdown and staying home as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. You'll be notified when I post more crafty videos that way. Thanks for watching. Bye.